Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose, and today I have a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you my three favorite activities to use in the classroom to get to know your students. Pretty much icebreaker activities for the first day or the first week of school. I think that these can work for all ages and all classrooms depending on how you switch up the information that you're having the kids answer or speak about with their peers. The first thing that I love to do with my students and I have done every single year are timed questions, almost like speed dating, okay? So speed dating, but in a form of pre-given questions to the students. So what the kids do is they will sit across from someone in the classroom, you um, allow them to pick how they first want to sit, but then they will always move over one or one, one row will always move over one so that the people that they are facing or having this 30 second conversation with changes every single time. Now, I do like also like a different movement activity where they have to find the students, but I think that this one is a little bit less pressure and you also get to ensure that every single student is saying something to someone different. It's a lot easier to monitor and I also think just slightly less awkward for the students because it does have some structure. So again, this is timed questions in like a speed dating format. So some of the questions are as follows because I did want it to be fun. You know, you don't want it to be like, what's your favorite color? Like, all right, everyone always asks that. What'd you do over the summer? Like, can we come up with different things to find out people's interests? So one of my questions is, uh, what's your favorite fast food place and the fa your favorite thing to order from there? And then it's like, go. And you'll have a 30 second timer and you get to like kind of walk around, see them talking. Then the timer goes off, you have some people share out. And it gets to the point where they're so excited to hear what everyone's saying that sometimes they'll even ask you, like, what's your favorite? Or if someone says something and they're like, yeah, well, I love getting um, Chipotle, but I ordered the pork. And I'm like, ew, pork, oh my God. I'm vegan, I don't eat that. Then it's like, what? So that opens up, so it's just fun and playful. Um, another question that I have is, what is the weirdest thing you've ever seen on the train? So I take public transportation to work and so do a lot of our students. Many of them walk, but for the most part, because it's, my school is in Brooklyn, most kids take public transportation. So that's a fun question to be like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen on the train? Uh, I have another one here. If you had only one movie to watch for the rest of your life, what movie would it be and why? So again, every time you ask a different question, the kids will move to the seat over, which is, again, organized, it's funny, and you really get to hear either they have things in common or they're like, oh my God, I can't believe you like that. So that is my favorite activity and I use that every single year. I have never seen it fail me. And so that is like my go-to, that is my safe zone when it comes to that activity. The second thing that I like, I haven't used as often, but I definitely do do it, um, is student bingo. So there are so many resources that you can find online of a lot of the bingo questions already created for you. What I will say is, I'm just that kind of person. I like to create my own, but for the sake of time, if you wanna find one online, you can. But I like creating my own because I do wanna be careful or sometimes the, um, the spots are not really relevant, you know? So you have a bingo, bingo squares, and each spot has something different. I am the youngest of all my siblings. I am an only child. I have been out of the country. I love the color purple. Whatever the case may be. And then when you say go, you time the student and it's their responsibility to find a student in the class so that they can win bingo and you can give a prize if you want. A lot of times kids just want to be the first ones in anything, but you give you can give a prize if you want. But again, it forces them to go around, ask questions, and then also they have to write the person's name down in the bingo. Now, I've seen a lot of teachers drop the ball with this activity where everyone plays the game and then it's like, all right, now we move on. And in my opinion, 
I don't think that the students really get to know or learn anything about each other if you just let them do the activity and there's no recap. It's almost like what you have to do in the classroom. You have to go over it. Okay, so whoever won bingo, tell me da -da -da -da, who was this person that's an only child. And then they'll say that person's name out loud or that person can raise their hand and say that was me, that's who they got. So it has to be this engagement of all of the students in the classroom even after the original bingo game is done and played you have to somehow recap and bring all of the students together to conclude the bingo game. Another activity that I love to do is student reflections. So I do this a lot with my seniors because they're older and they can handle it. I'm not sure how well freshmen but I would say hey challenge them but it's a 10 question questionnaire or like reflection and I started off with um, what was your greatest accomplishment of last year what was one thing that you wish you can go back and change or what are your expectations for this school year what are your expectations for me as a teacher and this classroom and it's just a list of questions that they answer that you take as the teacher you read it and then i take the time to comment on every student's paper not for every single question that they answered but for every paper if they write something that i feel i can relate to i'll usually write like oh my goodness me too wow that's crazy ha 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 so funny you want it to be conversational and it doesn't have to be this long-winded sentence but responding in some way shape or form to what they wrote i i love this for many reasons one it shows them that you took the time to read their work two it shows them that you took the time to read something that wasn't graded so how much more will you take the time to read something that is graded and so i like that that sets the tone right away and the expectation for you as a teacher and three it is the beginning of building relationship on day one i like to build relationship sometimes in the past i have had the students share out on the questions but I have veered away from that because some of the questions are, I don't want to say personal, but personal enough where some of them may not want to share out loud, especially if they don't know a lot of the students in the room. So I have, in the last two years when I've done this, decided to just collect them and provide personal responses versus having a really awkward moment in the classroom no one wants to share then you're like great first day <laughs> so those are my three favorite 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 things to do every single year to get to know my students and for them to get to know me um what i also like to start that first day with is an intro of who i am I'll usually post like a picture of myself and my husband and our dog and I'll just share a little bit about myself, where I graduated from college, um, how long I've been teaching at that school, why I love social studies and it's like a, a small introduction to who I am as the teacher before I ever ask them to write anything about themselves, I've already modeled what I want them to do. I've already modeled it with myself, with being vulnerable, with being open, so then when I ask for that in return, the goal is that they are a lot more open to doing that because the teacher has already shared those things with them. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of the activities that I use on the first day of school to get to know my students and to ensure that they also get to know each other. But I would love if you guys can write down in the comments below what are the activities that you love doing with your students for you to get to know them and for them to get to know each other as well. And the more resources and the more information that we give to each other, I do think that it's just a lot easier to cherry pick the ones that work well with our personalities. So I hope that you guys like this video. Please like it if you did, subscribe, and also click the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a video. And I will see you guys in the next one.